Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. I'm just looking along this wall because I've actually had a few people request that we build a wall along here, like we've done over there by the farm, because apparently that looks quite reasonable over there, and there are those of you who feel we should have a retaining wall along this bank, because without a retaining wall it does look a little bit odd. And you know, I'm inclined to agree with you because that would pretty quickly crumble away there if we didn't have anything on it. Um, that is already started to crumble away a little bit here, and I've actually got a bit of an idea. We don't have the quite the wall that I would like for this, but I do think that we could put something in here. So I'm going to go, I think it's under decoration. Uh, there we go. We've got these walls. So it's not that one that I wanted. It was the slightly bigger one. It was these here that we wanted. And we can just go with a standard long wall like this. So if I, actually, you know, I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to go this way, like this. And then we can rotate this bad boy around. Now, I want to try and get that lined up reasonably straight. And now the, the difficulty is going to be, of course, getting this retained properly along the wall along here and then getting it all lined up so we want to bring that along there and that's not quite straight that's better i think that's a little bit better but it's is where do we put the wall uh, where where exactly along here do we actually put it do I, I if i set it there i think that's that's reasonable i think putting it like that and that will allow sort of material to build up behind it is is kind of my thinking on that one. Uh, whether or not it would be any good having material build up behind it, I, I, I don't really know. We'd have to wait and see. Now, the other problem, of course, is if I put that there, the wall ends up coming down too low. Because the, the road does rise slightly as we go along here. So we want to keep it in line with the wall that we've got, but we do actually want it to rise as we go that way. So we'll have to put a step in it right there like that. And then we come along here, and I'm going to put a step in this one. I'm going to bring that back a little bit. If we go to about there, I think. Overlap it a little bit like that. I think that's looking pretty good. Now, this bit over here, I was wondering about this. And when I was sort of thinking about whether or not we should even put a wall in here, my thought was we could leave a little bit of a gap open there. Now, unfortunately, the wall is going to be lowered down. I suppose I can bring it back a bit so it's not going to be lowered down too much. I'll go like that. So it's, it's down a little bit. But I could leave it like that. And that way, we don't have masses of the wall um, being left behind. But we do have some of it left out. You know, there's, there's a gap in a wall. Or not a gap so much as it just never got built. We never actually got round to building that bit. And we've suffered the consequences. We've had a bit of landslip on there already. And I think that would actually fit quite well with it. We'll go with a short wall here in a minute. Like that. And I'll see if I can get that one to fit in here as well. That's, that's not going to fit, is it? I can't get that short one to fit in there where I want it. It's going to be too far. Well, actually, I suppose we could go in there. We, we, we can allow a little bit in. I can't bring it back any further than that. It doesn't like to overlap. There. Bring it down this way as much as I can. There, like that. There we go. Right. What's that like? That's pretty good, I'd say. So we've got a retaining wall along here, but we don't have anything on this bit. That bit there, that's gotten... Like, the wall was never completed, so it sort of collapsed out onto the road a bit. So we don't need to do anything there to tidy that up or change it. The one thing that I do want to do, though, there is a little bit that I want to do with the landscaping, is I did want to fill a little bit of the area in behind the wall up a bit. This is going to be more difficult... This is going to be a lot more difficult. I sort of have to very carefully. This is why I've got the small one and I've got it on a, quite a low setting as well. I want to bring some of this up. 
I've got the smoothing function going at the moment. And it, it, it sort of works. Because I'm smoothing it right close to the edge of it over here. It's like it, it is bringing some of this up. But I don't want it to be interfering down here too much. Which is why I've got it on such a small setting. So it, this will kind of work. There we don't... It, like the tree stuff there doesn't matter. Because we are going... I'm going to... Try to make sure I stay away from that. I don't want to get involved with that one. And just bring a little bit of this up. If I if I can have that just at least in a few places along here. There. Because I, I don't want anything going in front of the wall. That's the bit that we've got to watch. Although, I'll tell you what I can do. Is if I can bring this up a little bit. And like serve this over here. It's... It's not really coming up, in, and it's pushing it down in some places. If I actually just click like that, I can bring it up a bit. I've, I've got a bit of an idea. I know something that might work here. If I bring that up there, then I level and smooth it a bit over this side. Like this, we'll bring that out a little bit bigger. There. Do a bit of leveling and smoothing like this. We'll do an experiment up this end and see how well this works. And if this works, we could go a little bit further along the wall and do some more of this. So bring that like that. There, and bring it out to the end. So the end of the wall doesn't really need anything. Although I do perhaps want to change how I've got things here with the colouring. Right? Uh, just some of this bit back here. If I smooth that off a little bit more... Like that, and then we want to change its X to change type, like that, and then tab to go through uh, to grass type, like that, and instead I'll bring the grass type right down to the wall, like that, and over there, like that, because that's not a bit up there that we'd be using. We would be using this bit down here, so I will put our track going out that way a bit, like that, there. I think that's more of a natural kind of look to it. Colour that in a little bit there. Right, now I press X again and we go back to our brush. And I'll take it down to small. Very, very small. And then we've got these heaps here in front. Right, this was a bit of an experiment. The next bit is you do the levelling feature. And not the smoothing function, which is there. If I press both buttons together... It, smooth, it levels it, and it, it does it quite savagely. Because it, it, it's either going to level it or it's not. So it's quite a savage sort of leveling function. But look on the other side of the wall. It's actually done a pretty good job of it. I like that. I mean, I, I don't like this over here. So we're going to have to do something about that there, which is going to be this. I'll smooth that there. And I'll bring the wall up a little bit. Right, the base of the wall has been uncovered a little bit there, which we don't want. So we will bring that up. Yeah, like that. I think that'll be all right. Oops. I just deleted a bit of my field over there, which I really, really didn't want to do. Uh, it'll be all right. There's only a tiny, tiny little smidgen, so it's, it's going to be fine. Bring that like that. Right, I think that looks pretty good. You know, as, as far as the wall is concerned, I think we've done all right with that. We will obviously have to test it a bit. Maybe we'll have to do a slight bit of adjustment here. But I think overall, that's pretty reasonable. And it might help to discourage the vehicles from driving down over the edge. The, I mean, the edge of the field is going to be up here. We are going to keep it away from that wall. Uh, possibly, we could even put a fence along the top. So that we don't have any animals coming down. Up, well... That's, actually, yes, that is something that you would do, like you'd have a retaining wall, but it wouldn't be unusual to have a fence along the top as well, certainly in my part of the world, to keep any animals that might go into the field away from that whole area anyway. So we, we've got another option here. We have another option and we've got that right in here with these fences, look. See, so we'll take an extra large wooden fence right there and I will bring that bad boy around that is quite a big fence 
but it will be fine. It will do what we want it to. And I will bring that along the top of this line along here. Okay, we don't want that one to start with. I want the shortest fence that we've got. I want that one there to start with. And that one we will... Right, I'm going to have to swing that round like that because you're holding one end of it. So I've got to hold this end of it. Uh, bring that back like that so that it goes against there. And then I want to... That's as low as I can bring that down. I've either got to put it really low at one end or... Although, if I do it like that, we've got it then secured by the wall on one end over here, which is something that I've done personally when I've been building walls and fences and stuff. So that wouldn't be unusual like that. Uh, the only thing that we would do is this. We take that and... I bring that down a little bit like this. Uh, I can't smooth it to be right there. So I'm going to have to do this and just raise that up like that. You out this side. There. If I can smooth that down a little bit around it there and smooth this side. Try and smooth in between them, like that. That's better. There. It's more natural looking. Right, that bit there doesn't really want to change very much, but... Ah, that's better. There, right. That's more natural looking on that. I'm, uh, that I feel that's a little bit better looking on that. Um, we've just raised up the, the level of the ground a little bit there, ever so slightly, and I think it will work better. I'll just do a little bit of smoothing work on some of this. I don't want to get carried away on that because it's very easy to do too much of it. Then we go here into the decoration and we go... Let's go with medium fence and we'll do section. Because unfortunately, you've got one end of it. So you, you, you're stuck sort of holding one end of the fence just like that. And I'm not so, I'm honestly, I'm not so keen on that. I'd rather it held it in the middle rather than being attached to one end of it. But we'll, we'll, we'll work with what we got. Is that about right? I think that's about right. I'll bring the fence down a bit. Yeah, we'll go somewhere like that. I'm, I'm looking at how rough the ground is here as well. So if I stick that one right in there that is looking pretty good i think and then this one here if i can get that post to overlap the one that's there already kind of like that that's looking like a fairly natural join and i got a post underneath i got a tree stump underneath here that's nothing unusual that's fine if it starts growing again, we just chop it off. I'm talking about real life. Obviously, in the game, it's not going to start growing again. But um, real life, if it was to start growing again, we'd just say, oh, yeah, whatever, and then and then uh, chop the thing off. It, it wouldn't be an issue. And that one there. Right, I do need to slightly adjust the angle of the fence there. And I also want to bring it up ever so slightly. Actually, I think we want to go up to the next rung. We want to bring that one up like that. There. I have made a slight mistake. I've not lined them up properly on here. It's lined up nicely there, but right there, look, it's not lined up very well, and it's... I mean, that's better on that one. Um, and that's lined up on there. That's how I always used to um, make fences. If, if we were going to be making a fence, that is pretty much what we would do. We would try and line them up like that so that your, um, your rails are the same height all the way over. Even if they're not joining, you would still try and have them the same height all the way over because it just made the fence look a bit better. And that's, that was like one of, the, one of the important things is you do kind of want to make it look reasonably good. Now, I'll bring that one over to there. So this is going to be like the, the field edge on here. 
I clicked a little bit too soon there. Okay, I don't like that. That one's got to go. Uh, how do I sell? Got to go to the garage to sell these, haven't you? There isn't just a button where you can undo and, and sell it off immediately. There's no button option available for that. So we've got medium wooden fence. Sell. I've got to go up. I'll leave the others. I'm not going to change those. But that one there, I'm not happy with how it is. So that one there, yes, I want to sell. And then go back into here. Decoration. And go to medium wooden fence. Like that. Let's try that again, shall we? We will swing you back round like that. See if this is lining up. Right, that's looking a little bit better. Again, I've got to try and get that post overlap. That's better. And maybe if we drop that down a tiny fraction there. So that's, that's much better. There we go. Right. I'm pleased with that. And then one final one in here. This is good. We're going to go. We'll switch to the short fence here to bring this bit in. And swing you around that way. And now I don't think I'm going to be able to install this one. Right. I definitely can't put it here where I want. I mean, I could bring it over there so that it does bring it up a little bit. Yeah, that's not going to work. We'll have to turn that round. We'll have to go from the other direction. We'll bring that over to here, look. We'll try and come out a little bit. And then uh, you go back that way. It's just, just a smidgen. All right, now, unfortunately, it doesn't like it overlapping because I'm starting from this end. Which makes my life a bit more difficult. So we have to kind of... The, the overlap's got to be slightly bigger. In order to make it work. And then you there. Yeah, it's, it's... It doesn't like this, does it? Right, I can, so, I can sort of bring you out there like that. You, it's, it's not able to get in close enough. I mean, that's where I would put that fence. If I can move it up... The tiniest little bit, I think it's going to have to go there. I think we're going to have to just bite the bullet and have a slight overlap on this one. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. We can put it out beside it like that, because that is something that you would do. Right? Like that. There. I put it right out beside it like that. So instead of it being fastened to one, we've got two of them like that. Uh, unfortunately, the bit under the fence doesn't work anyway. That's a shame. I'd like to have had the end of the fence there. You, we'll, we'll we'll leave it. Because I don't really want to put a fence all the way along. I suppose we can. Maybe we'll come back to putting a fence all the way along. Maybe we'll come back to that. So I'll go back into the garage here a minute. And medium short wooden fence right there. That one sell. Right. Okay, so we I think I'm I'm happy with the fence as it is gone along there. That protects the bank so that no animals are going to be going into there and it will also encourage my workforce to stay away from the bank anyway. So I I quite like this. I like that we've got that going along there and I think it looks fairly natural flowing along with the um the, like the, the flow of the rest of it but whether or not we put something along here and we go right out to the end of this one i don't really know we may not we may not go any further than that we may just have it guarding the bank but i mean looking at that there i gotta say i'm i'm quite pleased with that i think the overall effect is quite pleasing with that all right, we've got a nice safe area in there that the animals and uh, workforce and so on, they can't go in and spoil it. Uh, we weren't able to finish the wall. We've had a little bit of land slip happen right here, which I think is really nice effect on that. Uh, so that's kind of a work in progress. We're still building that wall. So we've got to tidy that up, dig it back and re um, you know have it so it's behind the wall and then we would carry on building. So there's some ongoing building works there for our farm, which I think is quite a nice effect. It, it's 
it helps to give it a more realistic and natural approach to how the farm would be running anyway. Okay, there's that bit done. Now I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to leap into this bad boy. And we're going to do just a few more trees. So let's get going with this and see how many we can do before we have to finish up for the day. So in tomorrow's episode, I will probably be doing some selling of the trees. We'll come along and we'll gather up a whole load of the stuff that we've got already chopped down onto the ground. And we will sell what we can. So we get a boatload of money. And then we... Well, the combine is the top priority, but I suspect from the sheer quantity of stuff that we've got on the ground here, we're going to be doing all right, and we could end up getting some more. I haven't checked prices, although we've not really had very much time go by. Um, so oats is one that we want to keep an eye on. 840 and climbing. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. Um, we're already sold the wool, 1,000. Um, uh, well, 1,072. Silage is down at the moment, although we're unlikely to be growing silage this time. I think we'll do hay again on the small field. And eggs are currently 1,500 and climbing. So, as so long as we keep an eye on these prices, it'll give us a rough idea of the sort of money that we could expect if we come to sell any. Uh, beans, again, it's something that I'm not planning to sell now because I want to keep it for the pigs. So, we probably won't be making any money off the beans. The oats that we've just planted is that is pure cash crop although i am tempted to keep the straw if we keep hold of the straw and um, we sell the rest we're going to want a barn to put our straw in like if we're if we're storing a, a quantity of straw and a quantity of hay we are going to need to think seriously about a barn now i did also think seriously about having um loose material storage so a hay dryer type situation and um a store store a, a store a store storage a straw storage for all loose material rather than um bales but i've decided against it for this series i think bales would be more suitable considering the region and like the, the series that we're doing i think bales would be better maybe in another one um, in a, a future hardcore series, we might, but not for this one. We are doing loose storage now on the Alp series anyway. Um, I've done some in uh, bales, but I'm not going to be doing bales on that series anymore because, quite frankly, I think there's going to be too many um, and it would be too much work. So it's not going to hurt us to have bales on at least one series. So I think we can, I think we can have bales on this series and it not be too much hassle. Mainly because we are using autoloaders as well. Because we're running around using autoloaders. It's not like a, a major hardship for us, is it? Uh, I bring you like that. Um, I mean, yes, there is the slight inconvenience of having to actually do the bailing. And it's not something that we can set hired help going with. So we, we do have that bit to contend with. Um, and I didn't want to go setting up course play on this map. Um... Uh, on this series at all. I wanted to avoid course play on this. Only because I feel that that sort of, you know, letting course play do things for you is, is less hardcore than, um, <laughs> than not doing. Despite the fact that I do have great difficulties with um, course play, I still think it's less hardcore than not using course play at all. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't want to use And Plus, I'm, I'm still, like, I like the mod. Uh, I, I appreciate the mods. But um, I'm not all that far. I know I just said I like it. Um, I, I like what it can do. I'm just still, I'm not particularly fond of it. Um, so, yeah. I, I don't want to use it on everything. We've got it on one series. I, I think I think that's enough headaches for me. Because otherwise I'm just going to, I'm just going to end up breaking down and crying. Just, just weeping tears onto my boots right here in the middle of the series. And I, I'm not sure we want to do that. That's, that's, that's not a pretty sight. Right. I've come all the way up the side here. So we've got one lot here. I'm going to just go right the way. I'll, I'll now start working my way along the top. So we're just working in a big loop all the way round the outside of these trees. Um, I was going to go and pick them up after this. But I think what we'll do is we'll just finish out today's episode by chopping trees. If I can. This is the difficult bit. is I can never see them. With, the, with these older trees, 
Like the new ones, the new pine trees that we've got, they're absolutely brilliant because they don't have lower branches to speak of. So it's very, very easy to grab hold of them and cut them. Okay, that was not supposed to happen like that. Uh, but it did, so we'll work with it. Uh, but yeah, but these older trees... Granted, you do have the advantage with these older trees of getting more timber for uh, per tree. The, like, the, the base of the trunk is thicker than the other ones, and uh, you end up getting more money for the same height of tree than you do for the new ones. However, the new ones offset this by being a lot easier to cut down because you can see the trunk. These, you can't make them out. Right, you really struggle with this all the way through. That down there. Um, there, right, now I got it. But yeah, you, you, you really do struggle to line it up. And I mean, it's all right for this. I can move the camera around as and when I need to. But when I'm doing recording for the time lapse series, these trees are an exceptional source of frustration for me because the more I, if I move the camera at all in a time lapse series, especially doing a job like this, which is already fairly, um, like, the, the camera moves whenever the arm moves, so it's already sort of quite a nauseating experience for anybody watching if I'm not really, really careful. I've, I've got to, like, really make it careful. But if I start moving the camera around like this along with the natural movement from the boom, it ends up being a very, very unpleasant situation, which is why I try not to rotate the machine at all when I'm... or rotate it very, very little when I'm recording time-lapse with this. And I also have the speed slowed way down compared to what I normally have. Um, but yeah, I can't do that. I can't move the camera around and check to see that I've got it lined up properly when I'm doing time-lapse recording. And it's a real pain. Which is why I don't like to do too much in the way of tree hub. I do some. Because, quite frankly, there is an obscene amount of money to be made. And I like to do a little bit. I like to do a bit of the tree harvesting um, and making the money from the trees. And also, with the series that I've got at the moment, like this one, I'm carving the fields that I've got out of um, unbroken wilderness. You know, I'm, I'm going into a um, pristine forest and chopping down all the trees and then plowing it up, turning it into fields for the first time. And... It's not something I've been able to do on any big scale since I did the hardworking series. And I particularly enjoyed doing that. I, I, I found that was something that I, I particularly liked. However, the hardworking series should be noted. I seem to remember back way, that was way back in FS15. Um, uh, that one had far fewer trees for the area of land that I was cutting up. There were far less trees on that one than there are on this map or there are on the... Um, black mountain map um that that one had m much much fewer trees which meant that it was a lot easier to go and reclaim the fields and also that one you couldn't create new fields very I, I i can't remember how it happened how it worked oh no you could create fields couldn't you it still had the create field thing i think grass was done uh that wasn't a separate crop back then the grass being an actual crop that was introduced in um the last version of the game wasn't it so it was, if I wanted grass, that was uh, not done via a field, but then the rest of it was. Um, I mean, I had I, I had a lot of fun doing that map. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm, I'm, that's why it's one of the reasons I've gone back to the Black Mountain series, uh, creating fields from nothing. And why I wanted to do it with this, with the Hardcore series. This is something I've wanted to do for quite a long time. And I, I just sort of never really got round to doing it. And then started we started a small hardcore series in 17. Just at the end there. It was only at the very end where I did a little bit. And I thought, you know, I really like this. I like this challenge. So I'm going to do it again. And now we've done it. We've actually done it. We've, we've gone from absolutely nothing to creating a full running farm with animals and everything. And once we finish this up, then I can... That's another thing I can tick off the list. You know, we've, we've gone to a completely fo heavily forested area, I might add. Um, and we've worked our way up until we've gotten every type of animal on the map all fully fed and everything all through our own hard work. Not brought anything in. And I feel that's quite an accomplishment. 
I am I am very pleased with myself for everything that we've accomplished on this map. I, I feel that is something that we can be proud of, what we've managed to do on here. And um, it, it does very much, once we've got these trees here, it very much feels like we're coming to the end of this. Right, we've, we've managed to achieve just about everything that we want to do. And I'm, I'm definitely getting a, a sensation of we are almost there. We've almost actually managed to do it, which is it, it, quite cool. Because when I first started this series and I was like 10 episodes in, I was definitely thinking, what have I done? I think I may have bitten off more than I can chew with this. We could be in serious trouble. I, I really don't know if we're going to be able to make this work. Um, so I'm, I'm actually quite pleased that we've managed to do as much as we've done. And it, it, it's now all coming together quite nicely. Um, so this, this is kind of like the, 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 the final bit that we've really... Um, that would cause any struggle, I think. Um, is getting the last of this timber cut. So tomorrow we will be selling everything that we've got. And then probably by the time we've sold all the stuff that we've chopped down... Uh, we're going to be looking at doing another harvest. So we'll do the harvest and then we'll be doing some planting and stuff like that. And then we've got the, that. We'll then be working on the last of the trees. And then it'll be time for ploughing up new fields. And that's the, the bit I'm, I'm quite looking forward to here is starting this new field up here. Because we've got uh, big changes coming up here. Once we get this new field done, there is going to be some significant changes. Namely... That rock there will mark the northern boundary of the field. So all of that bit there, that will no longer be field. We'll get rid of that and we'll be doing something else with it. We, we're going to be doing our uh, cattle pens. But anyway, that is all still to come. I've got one tree here that I want to take. And then I've definitely done everything that I wanted to do along the top. I know I could do a few more still, but um, I've run out of time. That's, uh, so I'm, I'm just pleased that I managed to make it all the way along the top. Uh, so if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.